Begin by logging in to an NFS server as the root user. Next, verify that you have at least 40 gigabyte of space available in the root file system. Now create a directory to store the logical domain's metadata. And create another directory to store the zone's metadata. Now create a backup copy of the DFS tab file before you add content to it. Add two entries into that file to share the two directories that you just created. Share the file systems listed in the DFS tab file. And now verify that both directories are shared. In OpCenter, create an as storage library that points to the OVMSS shared directory on the NFS server. To do this, open the Create New NAS Library wizard. Notice that I'm using an IP address here rather than the host name for the NFS server. And let the job run. Create another NAS storage library that points to the zones directory on the NFS server. You can follow the same steps as before. This time, use the same IP address but point to the zones directory. And let this job run. Both libraries are listed under File System Storage in the Libraries pane. Verify that both NAS storage libraries have an OK state and a read-write access. Associate the two libraries with the virtualization server, which in this example is named T2A01. In the Associate Library panel, select both NAS storage libraries and let the job run. When the job is finished, on the Libraries tab for the Virtualization Server, verify that both libraries are listed. The NAS storage libraries are now ready for a logical domain and zone. I'm Jody. Thanks for watching.